In this video, you will learn how to solve this polynomial expression using the trusted solution method. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Now to solve this question, let's get started. To solve this question, we all we need to do is to take 12 that is on the left hand side and then bring it to the right hand side. And then we are going to apply a logic which will make us solve this solution the fastest and quickest way possible. Stay tuned as the solution unfolds. Now let's solve. To solve this expression, we'll have this to now become uh, x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3. If you uh, subtract 12 from both sides, we are going to have 12 minus 12, and then the right-hand side will be equal to 0. Great. Now, having done this, I want us to do a substitution. If we have that substitution, we'll have minus 12. This is where the logic comes in. Minus 12, minus 8, minus 4 will definitely give us minus 12. So, we are going to substitute the value of minus 8 and minus 4 for minus 12 in that expression. So if we do that, that expression will now give us x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 8 minus 4, and this will be equal to 0. Great. Now, having gotten this expression, what do we do next? The next thing we need to do is to uh, realize the fact that 2 to the power of 3 can be equal to 8, right? And then 2 to the power of 2 can be equal to 4. So we will replace that in that expression. So if we replace that in that expression, we're going to have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 and this will be equal to 0. Great. Now, having gotten this, you will see that these expressions are not properly arranged. And if we properly arrange this expression, you are going to find out that the first expression, which is the highest degree, is going to be minus x to the power of 3, and is going to be negative. So, we need to change that to positive. So to change that to positive, we are going to subtract that whole expression by uh, the value of negative. So we'll have x squared minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2, and this will be equal to 0. So we have to subtract this whole expression with negative sign. If we to do that, x to the power of 2 will now give us negative. x to the power of 3 will now be what? Positive. So it can stand on the first side. So x to the power of 3 minus times minus x to the power of 2 will now give us plus 2 to the power of 3, right? So we'll have negative minus positive here will give us negative x to the power of 2, right? And then negative times negative 2 squared is going to give us a positive 2 squared. And this will be equal to 0. Great. So if we we'll simplify this expression further, we are going to have x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 multiplied by x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 and this will be equal to 0. Now if you expand this expression you're going to see that we definitely have this. Good. Now this will take us to an algebraic formula. We have to recall an algebraic formula such that this expression from that algebraic formula we can find that if we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this will be equal to a plus b 
multiply by a square minus a b plus b square now according to that same algebraic formula we can have a to the power of 2 minus b square if we have this this can be equal to a minus b and this will be equal to a plus b multiplied by a plus b so apply this algebraic formula i want you to remember that a will be equal to x and then we'll have a b to be equal to 2. so if we apply that we are going to have that expression to be x plus 2 right on this side and this will be multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared right and this will be minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 and all multiplied by x plus 2 and this will be equal to 0 great so from this expression we can be able to simplify for that from that expression you see that we have two common terms and the two common terms are x plus 2 and x plus 2 so we're going to bring out x plus 2 if we bring out x plus 2 this whole expression divided by x plus 2 will give us x squared minus 2x plus 4 and this whole expression divided by x plus 2 will give us a negative x because minus 1 times x will give us minus x and a positive 2. So all of these will be equal to 0. Great. So if we solve that expression further, we're going to have two expressions x plus 2 to be equal to 0. And then we'll have uh, x squared minus uh, x minus minus 2x minus x is going to give us a negative 3x and then plus 4 uh, plus 2 is going to give us plus 6 and this will be equal to 0. So these are the two quadratic and the linear and quadratic expression we are going to get from that polynomial expression. So from the linear expression we can say the value of our x plus 2 is equal to 0. If we subtract 2 from both sides, the value of x will be equal to negative 2. The value of x equal to negative 2 is the first solution to that polynomial expression. Now, to get the second solution, we'll have to solve that polynomial, that quadratic expression. A quadratic expression we are giving x squared minus 3x plus 6 and that will be equal to 0. So to solve this let's first of all find the discriminant of that value. b squared minus 4ac. What will that expression give us is it going to give us a positive or a real expression or an imaginary solution let's find out the value of our a is equal to one the value of our b is equal to negative three and the value of our c is equal to a six so if we simplify that we're going to have the discriminant to give us discriminant will now be equal to b square which is negative 3 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 6 negative 3 square is going to give us 9 minus 4 times 6 is going to give us 24 so 9 minus 24 is equal to 9 minus 24 is equal to negative 15 and negative 15 is less than zero 
Since negative 6, 15 is less than 0, that means the solution to that quadratic expression is going to give us imaginary solution and it's not going to be a real solution. So as a result of that, we're going to neglect this solution. And the only real solution we'll have is x equal to negative x equal to negative 2. And that's the solution that satisfies that exponential equation. Now, I want to check if that solution is absolutely right. To find out if that solution is right, all we need to do is to insert the value of x equal to negative 2 to the initial question and to find out if it will give us 12. Now, let's try that. Let's check to see if the solution is actually correct. To do that, we are going to insert the value of x equal to 2 into x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3. Uh, is it going to give us 12? Let's test that out. To test that out, we are going to have the expression to now give us negative 2 all squared minus negative 2 to the power of 3. Will it give us 12? Negative 2 squared is going to give us 4 minus negative 2 to the power of 3 is going to give us a negative 8, right? And this would be equal to 4. Negative times positive negative is going to give us a positive 8. So 4 plus 8 is going to give us 12. So what do we have there? 12 on the left-hand side is equal to 12 on the right hand side. So that tells us that the value of x equal to negative 2 is the solution, the only real solution that satisfies the exponential equation that is given to us, which is a polynomial expression. Now I want to give you a tax. And what is the tax? I want you to find out the imaginary solutions that will come out from solving this uh, quadratic expression. Find out what the imaginary solutions are, drop them in the comment section, and I will be so glad to uh, engage with you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video with friends and colleagues. Give this video a thumbs up, and also remember to subscribe to our channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.